So I've seen a lot of people doing these YouTube videos, showing their room tours, arcades, man caves, what have you. So I figured I'd do one, show you what I have. I don't have a huge basement, but what I have in here I really enjoy. So let's get started. Let's start way over here. It's my ET poster with the snap it frame. These things are pretty cool. You can easily just change out your posters really quickly. Below there, I have one of those Starry Night projectors, some bubble heads, and a couple of Spheros, BB-8 and R2-D2. Coming over to the other poster, my Star Wars poster, same frame. Then below that, just a couple of knickknacks and the Fun Spot Tumbler. I was up there this summer. For those of you who don't know Fun Spot, you should go up there. It's in New Hampshire. It's about an hour from my house. Looking at my arcade one-ups. This is my Space Invaders cabinet. I got this on Walmart.com for $150. And I did some modifications. I left the screen. Screen's a vertical screen. I put in a new marquee. Love that marquee. Really matches the sides of the cabinet. Put in an amplifier. Put in a new deck, new buttons, new joystick, uh, new speakers, new front panel graphics, and new riser graphics. And I got the riser graphics and the front panel graphics from Justin at Gulf Coast Decals. So this is running a Raspberry Pi with RetroPie. And this cabinet has about 800 games, all vertical games. And it's really fun. A lot of the older games are vertical, and I just really enjoy it. This is my Star Wars cabinet. This cabinet started off its life as a Space Invaders cabinet. So I bought two of these at the time. And I got these decals from Justin. So this one is also running a Raspberry Pi Retro Pi. Put in a 20-inch LCD. Put in a new marquee. If you see there, that's a volume control because I have a subwoofer and the subwoofer has an amp built into it. Put in a new deck, new buttons, new joysticks. Then I got this cup holder on Etsy. It's really made for the Arcade One Up pinball, but I just had to drill a hole, use an existing hole and come out great. New speakers, new graphics. And I got these on Etsy. These are my hotkeys. And I think those are really cool Star Wars themed hotkeys. And then to finish it off, I got the stool. And this stool was on um, homedepot.com, believe it or not. And I got this for $50. And it's actually fine, it's pretty good. And then coming over to the arcade that started everything, my NBA Jam cabinet. This is totally stock. Uh, it's a really cool cabinet. It's when they first started coming out with the more upgraded cabinets with the lit marquee right from Arcade 1UP. It has the lit deck with the deck protector. It has the custom uh, riser graphics and the stool. So I've made probably about uh, four videos on this so far and one was a review and three were cheat code videos so I really enjoy it it's a lot of fun so those are my arcade one-ups over here I have a bar let me see if I can that's better so I have a little two-seater bar had this here for a while if you can see I have some built-ins. I have a built-in for glassware and for a popcorn maker and a built-in for a mini fridge. And I don't drink anymore, but it's a cool place to hang out. Now if we go over to this side of the room, it's a little cramped in here, but it seems to work. I have my gaming PC and I have my racing rig. So my gaming PC, this is a 34 inch uh, Odyssey G5 Samsung monitor. Has a thousand hour curve, it's really cool. 
Logitech keyboard. I believe this is a G815. Then a Logitech mouse. I believe that one's a G502. And the Logitech speakers, which are the G560s. I have my Nintendo Switch hooked up to the monitor, Pro Controller, and one of those um, Google Home, whatever they're called. I forget what they're called. I just got this off of eBay, Rob's Arcade, little edge lit sign. I have my Corsair wireless headphones. These are the HS70s. And my microphone is a blue Yeti Nano. Has the Radius 3 isolation mount and the newer arm. It works out well. And then lastly, I have the Xbox controller. So when I get tired of trying to play PC games with a keyboard and a mouse, I use my handy dandy Xbox controller. And my seat is a cheap seat I got on Amazon. It's an S racer seat and it looked good. It was $120, but there's no cushioning. Like literally, there's barely any cushion. So you feel like you're sitting on hard plastic after about 15 minutes. But I keep it. It makes me game less actually. And the brains of the system here is a HP Omen 30L. And the reason I got this is because I wanted the RTX 3060 Ti graphics card. But at the time they were selling between 16 and 1800. And so I saw this system with the same graphics card built in for 1899, so I bought it. I added a hard drive for more storage and I added uh, 16 gig of RAM for a total of 32. And it's been great so far. So over here is my racing rig. I just got into sim racing. Let's see if this helps. Yeah, so you can see the whole thing right there. So I just got into sim racing. This is a very basic rig. I mean, it costs quite a bit, but it's super basic for, you know, compared to what other people have out there. So this is, um, started off, I bought the play seat, the silver frame there, with the seat and the slider. And then it was kind of flexible, it was flexing. So I built a stand out of plywood, two by fours, put some rug on it, put some casters on it, uh, put some U-bolts to mount it, and it, it really made it more rigid, so it worked. I have the Logitech G920 racing wheel with the um, pedals it comes with. And then I bought separately the Logitech shifter and that shift knob is a 3D printed uh, shift knob. The one that comes with it's really small. Looking down here, I have a couple of amplifiers. Those are for bass shakers, one under the seat one under the pedals and it's it's pretty cool gives you a more immersive experience same monitor that i have on my gaming pc for sound i have the polk magnify mini and my monitor is mounted on a nb mount so it's good you can bring the monitor closer farther away depending on where you want it. So that's my racing rig. And the way I use my racing rig is I have a display port switch right here. I just hit it. And then it should come on. There it is. So I set my games up on the gaming PC. Then I go over here, get in the seat and I can race. This third monitor is for um, displaying the leaderboards. So when you're racing, you can see what place someone's in. You can see the lap times. You can see where they are on the map. 
any information you want to display and that's all run through SimHub. So it's really neat when someone's racing in the seat here, you don't have to look over their shoulder, you can just glance at the monitor and it gives you a real time uh, leaderboard. So I'm gonna do a more in-depth review of how this whole thing works and show it in action. That'll be in the upcoming video. And then behind there is my Austin Martin Red Bull Racing. I'm a big fan of F1, GT Racing, and Max Verstappen is my guy. If you notice the helmet down there. So that's his 2020 helmet. It's one of those mini helmets I bought on maxverstappen.com. So that's my um, gaming PC and arcade one-up section. And the other half of the room is my home theater. So to start off here, I have a 92 inch silver ticket screen. And the projector is a Optima HD 39 HDR 1080p. I really didn't need 4K. Plus they were super expensive and I get this one for under $600. The brains of the system is over here. I'll just go through this quick. I have a Denon receiver. I believe it's the AVR1312. And then I have an AC Infinity keeping everything nice and cool. Xbox One. Panamax power conditioner. Another connection for my switch. And then part of the surround sound are these Polk speakers. The tower speakers are M60 series. I have a center channel. And then the black Polk 10 inch subwoofer. Looking on the back wall, it's part of the surround sound. I have in wall speakers. One there, one there. And not part of the surround sound, but very cool is my last Starfighter poster in one of those Snap It frames. And then if you noticed, I had a 1978 Fisher receiver. It's an RS-1052. I listened to the radio or listened to my LPs on my turntable. Turntable's a GLI. And I was listening to Van Halen, 1984. The speakers that are hooked up to the Fisher receiver are these Kef Cresta. These are from the mid 90s. Little bookshelf speakers, but they sound fantastic. They don't have a ton of bass, so I hooked it up to the other Polk 10 inch subwoofer. And it really sounds great. Uh, the one thing I failed to mention was I have the Logitech Hub with the Logitech Harmony remote and the Apple TV. Then coming over to this side, I just have some older movies on DVD and Blu-ray and some bobbleheads people have bought me over the years. All of these over here are Star Wars. Then up here I have some Pez dispensers, some Stormtroopers and a Chewbacca. The KB Toy Collection Chewbacca, unopened in the box. It's really not worth that much, so it doesn't matter. Then down in this shelf, I have some of my games. These Tiki Cups, my wife got me recently. Thought those were neat. And then just some more Star Wars little knickknacks. Nothing really collectible. The collectibles, which they haven't really gone up in price, so they're not even really collectible. But they're these Gentle Giant. This is a um, First Order Trooper. This is number 1253 out of 3700. I don't think it went up in value. Got the Amazon Echo and a ring camera. Coming over here, I have another Gentle Giant, Jin Urso. She's uh, 161 out of 3,000. Maybe she's a little more collectible. We'll have to wait and see. And coming over this way, I have a biker trooper. 
And he's 1513 out of 7,500. Have a few Zelda books, making a champion in the official guide. Then on this wall, I have my ancient arrow, ancient bow, and the Hylian shield. And then to watch the movies, I just have a recliner and a matching couch. We've had this couch for about 20 years, threw a blanket on it for the cats. And I think that's about it. I mean, that's my man cave. I'll try and get it all in here. There it is. My game room, home theater. And like I said, it's not too big. I don't have too much, but I'm a simple guy. I try and keep things simple. And that's all. So really, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you can subscribe, please do so. And as always, thank you for watching.